I've just cracked open my second beer of the day. It's not even 5 p.m. yet. And I'm thinking about what video should I make today? Well, what in the stock market ties hand in hand with the degeneracy of drinking two beers before 5 p.m.? Options trading. So today we're going to go over how you can analyze your options trading positions before you ever enter them within thinkorswim. Oh, my name's Steve. You're Steve in this story. I see that the moon here is in the waxing gibbous phase. Therefore, I want to go buy some calls on the S&P 500 as I think that means it's going to go up. But I don't want to just go blindly buy calls. I want to test what my PL would be based on the strike that I buy. Steve, what you're going to do, you're going to jump into this. Sorry, that was really dumb. I, sorry, I'm taking my creative freedom here. What you're going to do is you're going to jump into the Analyze tab. First off, let me get rid of what I already have going here. You're going to jump into the Analyze tab on this risk profile. And what this risk profile is going to do is it's going to show you your PL based on the price of the underlying ticker with the simulated trades that you have turned on where the value of those options would be based off of today's date and based off of expiration date. If that doesn't make any sense, let me give you an example. So say you're Steve, you saw the waxing gibbous, you're a weird lunar trader. Any lunar traders out there, I apologize. Not really, you're weird. Um, I'm gonna go buy, I wanna test. What is a five, first off, I clicked on this ad simulated trade tab. I'm gonna go to analyze buy trade. I'm gonna hit single. I just want to, first off, right click, analyze buy single. Back to the risk profile here. I can now see if I buy a 16th August 2024 expiration 555 strike call, I will be the, the purple line is today's date. So today, if we break over what this red line represents is your break even price. So if we break over 554 today, I'll be in profit. Today's video is sponsored by me and my own website, daytradingstrategies.net. Click the link in the description down below. You spend over $25 on DoorDash at least three times a week. Just skip one of those times and get yourself over 45 custom thinkorswim codes. Link in the description down below. Go sign up today. By close, the break-even price is around 563.5. Three, which makes sense. It should be 563.35 as we are paying $8.35 on a 5.55 call. Does that make sense? Do you know your intrinsic value of options? I've made another video on that. We're not going to get into option valuation in this video. Check out the channel if you need more information on that. But these red lines represent your break-even price. They show you based on the trade that you are simulating down here, where you would be in profit once again both on today and on expiration date the x-axis down here is price the y-axis is obviously profit or loss and you can get a lot more complicated than this so i'm going to hit this x here i'm going to get rid of this simulated trade if i go back to add simulated trades this is how especially for beginner option traders and i'm not gonna lie i mean i do every now and again trade options but pr i play pretty simple like call credit spreads or put credit spreads i don't even know much about like honestly like i sort of know what an iron condor is but not really like enough to explain it and and maybe a lot of you watching this video don't either and that's perfectly fine the beauty of this is you can use this tool to sort of learn i've just put on an iron condor spread and now i can see okay apparently if spy expires on 555 i'm gonna get cooked and lose all my money but if it expires above 557 or below 555 550 i'm gonna start making money right so this is where you can start to test multiple different complex spreads and you can come into them and obviously it just gives you like like the nearest value hey you're gonna buy well let me do this let me for this part let me go to a spread i do understand a little bit more if i go to analyze buy trade and i go to a straddle meaning that if the price makes a large move either direction i'll make money a straddle is hey if it moves down a lot you make money if it moves up a lot you make money if it doesn't you don't make money 
that's pretty clear from the risk profile here, right? If on expiration date, we are between 537 and a half and 570, we're going to lose money. If we're outside of those ranges, we're going to make money. Well, what by default the ad simulated trade does is it buys a call at 554 and a put at 554. But if you would like to switch this, say, well, maybe I want to now play at a 550 call instead, you can switch that here like this. And also it automatically has the quantity at one so, or sorry, at 10. So you can change that quantity around a lot if you want. So now I, if I play one of these straddle contracts with the 550 strike call and put for 16th of August, if on the 16th of August, SPY is trading at 520, I will make $1,200. If it's trading at 600, which it won't be, but um, now watch, now watch it be doing it. Um, I will make uh, $3,200. So you see how you can get an idea. You just use this ad simulated trades. You right click on the option that you're interested in, analyze buy, or I mean, obviously analyze sell works the same way. And this is just showing you if I turn on a butterfly and once again, I sort of know what a butterfly is, but mostly I don't. This is a great way to get an idea of what an option, like what your PL will be at a certain strike price at the date that you're running it if you take the trade. So before you take an options trade, and especially before you take a spread like complex options trade, plug it into the analyze tab here so that you will have an idea of what your potential profit versus your potential risk is, what you need the underlying stock to do by a certain date is. This is just all in all a very powerful tool and, and it's so inclusive. Once again, let me just let me just do this so you can see it because I haven't done it yet. Let's, let's sell. Uh, what did we do before? A strangle? Let's sell. No, 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 not a strangle. Sorry. Let's sell a straddle. Analyze, sell, straddle. Now, if I go look, of course, we're going to make money or sorry, sorry. Now we're going to make money if it doesn't move a lot. If it does move down a lot, we're going to start losing money, right? Our break even price here this time, since we're selling, since we're selling and you can see the Y axis, remember is profit. That's why we're at highs here. This red line here represents when we break even, but now the left and right are to the downside since we're selling the strangle. Just so many, and, and I'm not going to sit here, like I can make a two hour long video analyzing, you know, the, the thousand different ways that you can come in and analyze each and every one of these sort of option spreads and how you can look. But I just want you to know this tool exists. I want you to know how to make use of this risk profile tool, and I want you to go mess with it. I want you to use it to learn how option spreads work, and I want you, before you ever take any options trade, especially once again again, an option spread trade to plug it into the simulated trades, look at the risk profile so that you have an idea of what the hell is going on before you take that trade. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. 